Let me show you how you can test view components and pinion stores in Laravel using vTest. I have a fresh Laravel sale project installed. Laravel sale is not a requirement, I just like it. But you can use Composer or Vale, your choice. Before writing any tests, we need to install a few dependencies. Let's start with the default ones from Laravel. Followed by view and view plugin for vit. Next, we need vtest and view test utils. Also, install JS DOM so we can mock the HTML structure of our components. I want to use stores for a more realistic example, so let's install Pinia and Pinia testing tools. And to finish the installation process, add this line in your package.json file. Ok, time to write some tests. I want to have a centralized store for a progress bar. The idea is that other components can access this store to display the progress percentage and increment the progress count. Let's start by creating a test. Open tests, unit and create a new file called progressstore.test.js. To be clear, the file doesn't need to be in this folder, in fact vtest will find and run test files anywhere in your project, I just like to keep them all in the same place. Import describe from vtest and create a describe block for the progress store. In order to test Pinia stores, we need to create a Pinia instance and set it as active for each test. So let's use before each, call set active Pinia, and pass a new Pinia instance with create Pinia. And that's it, we can start writing our tests. Let's make sure the progress counter starts at zero. I'll use test for this example. I have to import the store, I'll call it use progress store and it should be in stores progress.js. The add sign is an alias for the resources JS folder. Now I can use the store in my test and assert that the counter state is zero. We do this by saying expect progress counter to be zero. Let's run this test. I'll open a terminal right here in VS Code and use sale npm run test. If you're not using Laravel sale, just type npm run test. Alright, we have our first error. A couple of things to note, we get the testing environment, which is vidnode by default. We get the error message, saying that the progress file could not be loaded, which makes sense because it doesn't exist. And my favorite part is that vtest keeps monitoring changes in my files, and will rerun the tests each time a relevant file is saved. Let's create that progress file. Open resources.js and create a folder called stores. Inside create a new file called progress.js. Unfortunately it doesn't detect new files, so I'll just restart the test script. Now we get a different error. Use progress store is not a function. This is because we haven't defined a store yet, so let's do that. Use export const and the name of the store and to define a new store, use define store from Pinia. I like to use the setup definition, which is similar to Vue.js composition API. The first parameter is the ID of the store, and this must be unique. The second parameter is the setup function. I'll just leave it empty for now. The error now says that the counter is undefined. Let's add a counter state to the store. We do this with ref, just like in a view component. And we return it like this. Excellent, we have a passing test. There is no rework required at the moment, so let's move on to the next test. I want to be able to increment the counter by one, so let's write a test for that. Once again, we create a new store, but this time I'll call an action called increment. After that, the counter should be 1, so expect progress counter to be 1. 
As soon as we save, we get a new error. Let's add the increment action to the store. Just like the composition API, we create a function called increment where we add one to the counter and then return the action just like we did with the counter. And this gives us another passing test. Perfect. The last thing I need to do is to be able to get the progress percentage. For example, if the counter is at 5 and the progress total is 10, the percentage should be 50. Create a new test and a new store. But now I will change the values of the store using patch, including a max value of 10 and setting the counter to 5. Finally, I expect the progress percentage to be 50. Let's save that and see what errors we get. The percentage is not defined. I will add the max property, default that to 100, and then return it. For the percentage, I'll use a getter, which is a computed property. So we use computed and then get. To calculate the percentage, we divide the counter by the value and multiply that by 100. And let's also round this to the nearest integer with math round. Now we just need to return the computed property down here. Save that and we get a passing test. Now that we tested the store, it's time to create a component that uses the store. Create a new file inside test unit called progress.test.js. First, let's import our progress component from components progress.view. And then let's say describe progress.view. Since I'll need to mount the component for each test, I'll use a before each to take care of that. So wrapper equals mount progress. This component is supposed to make use of the progress store. So for the mounting options, we need to make sure the pinia store is mocked in our component. We can do this easily with global plugins and then use the create testing pinia plugin. All store actions must be mocked. So we use create spy and pass vtest.fn. This will not only mock all the store actions, but will also provide a spy that will allow us to run assertions on those actions, like how many times the action was called. Now let's write the test. I just need to assert the default percentage of zero is displayed properly. I'll find an element with an ID of percentage inside the components wrapper and then return the text of that element. Then expect that text to be 0%. Okay, let's create a progress component inside resources JS components. Since we created a new file, let's restart the test script. It looks like it failed to import the test definition, so let's fix that real quick. This error is a bit cryptic, but all it means is that there is no view component defined. So let's define one. I'll set up an empty template and an empty component. Oh, right, we never set up V to handle view components, so let's do that now. Open v.config.js, import view from v.js plugin view, and add the view plugin. And because we changed the config file, we need to restart the test script. This error means that the test is not used in the JS DOM testing environment. Since we already have the config file open, let's fix it right here. Add this line at the top to reference vtest types. And then add a test section with environment set to JSDOM. Okay, good. New error. We need to add this element to the component. I'll create an empty div with an ID of percentage. And just to get the test to pass, let's set the text to 
0%. Okay, now let's rework this to use the store. Import the store and then use the store inside the setup function. Return the store to make it available to the template. And then let's use the percentage getter in the template like this. And everything still works as expected. To wrap this up, let's also make sure that we can increment the progress by clicking a button. In the test, we need to import the use store. Then I'll look for a button with an ID of increment BTN and trigger a click on it. Then I expect the increment action to have been called once. Ok, let's add a button to the template and on click we call progress increment. Whoops, I misspelled progress, sorry about that. Ok, that should be all for this video, don't forget to click that like button, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.